I heard TG hates the ocean. Can I hate the ocean with you guys? Of course you can, because it's an absolute <laughs> horrid nightmare. <laughs> Megan, you know, someone commented on it, so we said about uh, Megan can't swim, and someone said Irish checks out. <laughs> yeah, well... <laughs> I saw that comment, and I thought, <laughs> yeah. that one gave me a good laugh, so I, did. I can swim personally, okay, guys? I'm able to swim, but it's Megan that can't swim. I just have no interest in it. Yeah. Who actually wants to go into water where you can... Uh, the creepy crawlies, you... and then someone yeah. grabs your hand and the bottom of the pool <laughs> and the creepy old man with the mustache makes me think of that Goosebumps episode oh yes the, yeah the zombie one that was really one scary the water yeah the Goosebumps was scary that, my guy see the see the the bloody skeleton that was genuinely terrifying yeah. so it was as a child yeah. you guys don't remember this you're too young alright educate yourselves <laughs> <laughs> yeah honestly go watch it because it's actually really good and honestly it's kind of topical and see that whole thing with that submarine that's a perfect example of why I just know <laughs> I saw Something happened, right? And I, I had a um, an advert come up my Facebook for it was like a Titanic. No, it wasn't. T- it was. Yeah. This was like a week after. No, the week of like the submarine happening, and it was like the Titanic Tycoon or something like that. It was some weird, and it was like spot the difference. What can you see in this picture? And I wrote underneath it going, I can't see the Titan. Well, last night. I oh got, yes, yeah. Last night yeah. I got a reply to you going, No, just no. This is awful. There was people in that boat. And I just laughed for you. And then she kept she kept right back to you. Yeah. You just kept, <laughs> just just kept like, laughing. Just, just, honestly, see when it comes to Facebook, I think we're <laughs> at that point where there's no point arguing with someone. Literally just hit them with the laughing react and, and ju- let watch them, them see. seethe. And the more they just keep commenting back, just keep hitting them with the laughing react. It's, Saying it's, that I had the mental capability of a twelve year old when she couldn't spell a single <laughs> thing right. Oh, it was funny. But like, let's jump into this. What type of deep sea monsters? are there and while we're on it Nessie's not really that scary alright nah no. ne- Loch, Ness, Loch Ness monsters is just not a scary I monster I find the Loch Ness scarier than Nessie yeah the actual lake itself just the lake <laughs> Let me tell you about the ocean, ma'am. Can't swear, so damn the ocean. There's no place in the world more not suited to human life. If you want to live in the ocean, you have to bring your environment with you. The reason why is because the ocean hates you and tries to everything to kill you. Oh, no, hang on. Yes! <laughs> yes, that's the thing. First oh, of all, first, first of all, of all th- they took my plastic straws. <laughs> yeah. So I'm just going to say that. See that paper ones from McDonald's? Nah, no, no. Uh, that's not just, it. Just because one turtle got a plastic straw up its nose. No, thank you. I felt really bad for that turtle. That was a bad video, guys. It was a bad video, but like... One turtle. One turtle. Just stop throwing it in the sea. (laughs) I mean, mean, instead of just not doing them, I mean, just don't throw them in the sea. (laughs) This isn't the... It's not the Ganges, all right? (laughs) Fall off your ship. I give you half an hour before you freeze to death, drown, or eaten by a shark, El Rapid by dolphins, or any combination of the above. The weather comes in two varieties. Cold, shitty, hot, and shitty. Don't think having a more stable ship will help you. That just pisses the ocean <laughs> off even more and makes the weather worse. God save you if you have motion sickness. I don't know why the ocean, what the ocean is made out of. Salt or some other shit. The oceanographers tell me. F them. The F and ocean hippies and their damn <laughs> El Rappi wheels. <laughs> I've seen people get pulled out of the ocean, dissolved by that crap after they died and fall in piles of goop and clothes that smell like rotten fish and seagull shit. <laughs> if I ever wanted to kill anyone I hated, I'd dump them in the ocean when the sea snakes are spawning. <laughs> what do you mean the sea? What's the whole thing about eels? I heard people tell they me... They don't know how they breathe. I don't know if that's true or not. That's they just go how... to the Bermuda and then they come back and nobody knows how they, how they breathe. Right, hold okay. on. I'm telling you. Because right, I've, I've heard this one and I really don't Let know Let me finish how... this up. All right, okay. So, sea snakes are spawning. At least I would if their screaming wouldn't make every ship an aircraft and 20 nautical miles find them I don't know what all I'm saying but what I really mean is to say F the ocean because the ocean never needs you yeah yeah pretty much pretty much pretty much but how can this lead to a role playing sense I think you know the biggest problem is ships are too safe in a lot of role playing games you know that's the biggest problem I think we had with um, air battles in spell armor yeah because if your ship gets destroyed it's TPA. Mm-hmm. You yeah, know, 100%. essentially, like you know, if I want to see what was that movie? Was what was that movie? Deep Blue or the one where uh, Samuel Jackson gets eaten by no, a shark? No, not Samuel L. Jackson. Um, no, I can't remember the name of it. But like they, their ship like capsizes and like they're in the middle of the ocean 
like just there and they have to like survive and they only have like bits of the ship to like float upon and stuff oh uh, that no that movie is my worst no nah, you know my the, worst nightmare no nah, you know the worst one ever that i heard was do you ever remember that picture of your fella he was like a chef on a boat that sank and he was stuck in like <gasps> and, he was underneath. and he and he just survived on two tins of coke yeah for like three and days and he felt like shit like <clears throat> coming up to his feet and like uh, nibbling on his feet and stuff yeah because it was like pitch black so yeah. it was and then after like two days oh no look that, that. My, the hairs I'm, li- I'm literally staring at the hairs on my arms how do rising you, but how do you translate this into a role playing game it's almost impossible I think to create that level of dread there's something about the unknown you know and again see- I don't even want to know about the unknown it's what's just at the beach <laughs> it's just like what's at the beach what if you put your feet in the water there's the sh- there's shit like running over your feet. No, no way. I nearly, I was in Turkey once whenever yeah. I was younger with a group of girls and we went into the water. I nearly had a full on cardiac arrest because of a seaweed touched me and I'm like, no, absolutely <laughs> not. I'm just going to sunbathe. No way. <laughs> oh, I mean, it's, it's, it's not that bad. No. Okay, do you remember that time when we went to Spain? And then this is not the time I fell down the stairs, but I just walked into the sea and then the sea <laughs> hit me. And I just fell, I just fell back, <laughs> hit me like a ton of shit. <laughs> all these people were watching. Yeah. Do you remember that one? Yeah, because yeah, you went then and I didn't. Yeah, and you made me look really like deck. Well, that was me and Dean, I suppose. <laughs> yeah. This is a coconut crab. James is like, oh, look at that. I'm like, no, I'm not. I'm not, actually huge. I'm not enlarged in the picture because I know what they look like and they're in my nightmares. So no thanks. <laughs> this is a coconut crab. It lives on many islands in the southwest Pacific and Indian Ocean. It is not only the largest ex- existent land anthropod. See, whenever something's called like an anthro, <laughs> so, like no, that's from space. <laughs> yeah, okay. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. On Earth, weighing in at up to four point one kg. What's that? And like stones. It's four. It's four bags of sugar. Oh. So it's heavy enough. It's heavy enough. Yeah, yeah, I would say it's pretty hefty. What it might. But it might be the largest anthropod could theoretically grow in our current atmosphere. It can get as large as a dog, one, one meter, meter long, long, counting the legs, and 20 centimeter wide. The support of over 10 kg of weight. Jesus. I can't swim. Why do you... What, what? In fact, it takes its name from the fact that it travels by sea by floating on coconuts. <laughs> That's actually kind of funny. If it's knocked off, it will drown in a couple of minutes. Wait, so... It's a sea so creature it, that... That can't survive in the water. Okay. Perfect evolution. Okay, do you want to hear a funny one? So, so No, wait, no, no, no. What? So, like, where are they hiding? Somewhere in the Pacific Islands. In people's bins, apparently? <laughs> yeah, well, of course. Imagine actually. taking out your, your <laughs> bin and be like, oh, the, the bin that the bin lorry's coming tomorrow, go open the lid, put a bin it, and there's just that thing sitting. But, Megan, it looks pretty meaty. You like crab? I do like crab. I like eating sea fish because I don't have to be in there, but I like get my revenge on the sea. <laughs> you know when people are like, oh, save the ocean? No, fuck the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> no, fuck it. It's not that bad. No thanks. Right, anyway, so one thing that I find really interesting is crabs have actually evolved many times, or things that look a lot like crabs, and it's actually, they've came about multiple times throughout. Um, How the fuck has that evolved? Ev- they just do. They, a lot of animals just turn into crabs a lot of the time. This has happened time and time again. And do you want to hear another really interesting one? Is because it's happened so many, so often. I was watching one where a guy was talking to an AI. I can't remember which one it was. <clears throat> it might have been ChatGPT. I can't remember the exact chatbot he was talking to, mm-hmm. but he was trying to get it to exact, like explain what it looks like, and it was being kind of difficult with the way AI kind of is. Yeah. So like, I don't have a physical form, I'm just an AI. Yeah. Eventually they got to the point where it's like, no, but what, what would you kind of, you know, they kept asking the questions, and eventually they kept getting yeah. somewhere, and eventually it came out that it would want to be <laughs> like a robotic crab. Why? Well, it's armoured. Protected safe. It's got. Um, it's not armed <clears throat> enough from like. It's got claws. Me. You know, it's. Uh, and again, because. Again, if you think about it, crabs have evolved, like anthropods and all that. Like, there was once upon a time, Megan, where it was all anthropods, so it was. Like, all of them. Live in hell. Yeah, and they were gigantic. So, have you I, seen the I, size? I, I'll, hold, I'll lift up a crab and I'll hold a crab. Like, whenever I say I'll lift up a crab, I mean, like. Ozzy was terrified like of one the of the Like, the ones that are no bigger than, like, a small chocolate bar. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Yeah. They're like six centimeters long. I'm like, oh, I'll hold that. But also, he was terrified about it. Yeah, we tried, like, we tried to hunt it off. And he was just like, no, absolutely no. not. He was not having that one bit. The other big problem is in a lot of role playing games, 
Uh, okay, let's just look at it. Skyrim, mug crabs, oblivion, mug crabs. They're like the most basic of enemies yeah. you get. In, and no one, what was that one in Pokemon? Crabby? Crabby. Exactly. Yeah. There, there's something about it. How do you make a, t- a crab actually intimidating? The only way to do it is to make it super big. Yeah. And maybe give it laser eyes. Like, is the king crabs and stuff. You know, oh the big, yeah, big they're ones? they're the big long thin ones. How can they say like that's the biggest anthropod? Because like I've seen a king crab. Uh, it must be just by the actual like weight, not by the length of it. Because mm. them king ones are pretty they're thin, f- but they're really big. Yeah, but they're really like like they're a few foot gangly. wide. Yeah, the gangly. Like the daddy long legs of crabs. Of crabs. They are. Yeah, they really are. I don't know. There's something about crabs that they give me the heebie-jeebies. Honest to God, though, on the topic of it, I, w- I would say, play if we ever come across aliens, I think there's a chance that they could end up looking kind of more crabs than anything else. Kill me before that happens. What do you think? I don't know. What... Okay, this is a good thought experiment. If aliens exist, what do they look like? We've done this before. Oh, we have, but it's been a long time. I think I asked this question about two years ago. Uh, we'll talk about it at the end, but if an alien exists, and it, the only criteria it needs to be is it needs to be smart enough that it can come to earth so it needs to be somewhat advanced it needs to it can't be like mold it can't just be like a you know what i mean yeah, mold it can't be non- like a fungus spawn yeah it, it needs to be an intelligent alien from a different planet and it's able to get to a sophisticated point where it can travel to earth what would that alien look like and obviously build stuff yeah it has to be able to have some tools sort of and communication and hands some sort of hands not like hands per se but something to be something able to like to- build Shit. Yeah, they need to be crap. They need to be able to craft yeah. something. Like they can't. Like you know, a bear can't. A bear can't know. hold a hammer. Like <laughs> yeah, exactly. You yeah. know what I mean. And uh, are bears capable enough to even learn how to create tools? You know what I mean. Stuff that is key with getting an alien to another planet. But anyway, yeah. look, let's go back to the why the sea is just absolutely horrible. Will we? Hey guys, do you like models in your tabletop role playing games? Cause we do too. Do you like having big bitty waifus on your table? Because we do too. <laughs> <laughs> we got human bitties. We got lizard bitties. We got orc bitties, oni bitties, cat bussies. We've got everything you want at neckbeardia.co.uk. <laughs> Check the links down below. It helps us out a lot. Sorry for interrupting the video. Let's get on the story. Also, and the winner of the daily giveaway is this guy. Yay, woo! <laughs> Look, anyway, uh, in for a chance to win, all you gotta do is like, subscribe, leave a comment down below, automatically entered in. And to claim the prize, you just send an email to neckbeardycontact at gmail.com. Let's get back to the video. You see this thing? No. It's a bobbit worm. What the fuck is a bobbit worm? <laughs> that thing, look at how horrible. Look at how, why is it so oh long? Oh my god. Mm-hmm. What's up with the mouth bit? It looks like it's got like two mouths and like a sweet antenna thing. The worst motherfucker that wants to ruin your day for even looking at it. Hell, you don't even need to look at it. Just being in the general area makes it want to wreck your shit. These motherfuckers grow up to 10 no. feet long. <laughs> Honestly, uh, I, I, no, would, no, I, I would rather be like an anaconda. No, no, but Philly. <laughs> I would rather no, take no, an anaconda. I would rather be swallowed whole by an anaconda. <laughs> than, that, than just be in the mere presence. Now, yeah, now that you would know, you only ever see it for a brief second as it sticks its head out of the sand, with a pair of jaws being big enough to make you look at a pair of scissors the same way again. And its terrifying maw isn't even the worst part of it. It's covered in bristles that cause permanent nerve damage. Permanent? Oh, so it's like a jellyfish? Does it have that sort of... Permanent nerve damage. That means if it so much as stings you, once once you'll get permanently paralysed for the rest of your life. These monsters hunt by sitting in a hole waiting for anything stupid enough to wander by. Then they grab it in those gigantic pincers. And what do they do? Drag no. it down. No! <laughs> no, drag it down, they say, question mark. No, they fucking slam whatever they caught so hard that they rip it down under the sand with them. <laughs> Think they aren't scary yet? They only ever show you their head. Not so tough, right? Just cut the head off, right? Wrong. What? They the will gr- just grow no, up back. No. This is a Hydra! <laughs> just grow up back, motherfucker. No! no. Oh. Like, the other night we were lying on a bed and I said, James, you know them, like, wormy things that you see in sand? Do you know what it is? And yeah. he's like, yeah, there's, it's like a sandworm thing. And I showed him a picture of it. He's like, yeah, have you never seen one? I was like, no, because I don't go digging in the sand. And two, why? Why? It's it's like two centimetres thick yeah. in diameter. Yeah, they're pretty 
really big, so they are. Have you never like put salt down one of them before? And they come out and like they'll wiggle about. Who do you think you're talking to? Yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's true. You know that? Okay, so the weird thing I'm getting so far is, see, when it comes to like sea animals, you can almost throw any ability with them because they've got. So okay, most of them they've got bites. They don't have claws, really. That's the only thing that they're really missing. Yeah. But they've got bites. They've got a you lot can of like sting. Like, ethereal as fuck if you wanted to. Yeah, there's a lot of like, like you know, you think about like ink and um, sting yeah. and you know you. Could put in a lot of other stuff because dine 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 like with the dine dine where dine, they just are white dine yeah there's like and no then color further in them. dine like they may as well be like like ghosts <laughs> they, they may demons. as well be honestly I don't know like they, are they what demons the fuck are, are they are deep sea animals that be just demons? demons like what are they <laughs> they may as well be there's a beholder down there somewhere I'm pretty sure one looks like a fucking beholder so you could yeah there is actually well Harry when you think about an anchor fish it ain't that far off like it's got the stock and, and the blobby ones too. Well, the blobby ones only so that's to do with pressure, apparently. So the blobby ones actually it isn't. They don't actually look like a blob. The only reason why how are they like surviving a, in that pressure? It's, it's because they look. Hold on, like let me type it in. So blob fish, fish deep sea. So they look normal. So they do whenever they're like deep under the sea. But whenever they because they're whenever because they, they're not used to like our pressure gravity. Yeah, no. that's why they go blobby. So know. they do. So when they're not going over to like you know when they're where they're supposed to be they look I mean they don't look nice they look they look like a deep sea animal like for fuck's sake and shark and shit <laughs> yeah that stuff's that stuff's fucked you, up man you know what I want to admit here right now I'm, what like don't forget this is the same girl I thought the internet was google up until I met James <laughs> I found out throughout that whole submarine thing that when people are like oh uh, they're going down and the pressure is like this I found out what the pressure was. It's the weight. The weight of the water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, di- I didn't know. Did you not get that, man? No. It's the weight, yes, yeah, the weight of the water, because if you think about it, so whenever you, like, swim down, well, I suppose you wouldn't. Can't but, relate. Well, okay, if, if you're in a pool and you go up to the six foot point, you can actually feel the pressure, so you can, because you've got six foot of water above your head. Does that make sense? Yeah, but So can't... it's pushing down on top of you. That's why a lot of, like, super diving and stuff, they don't actually go that deep. Yeah. Because, again, you Set us up to, like, 30 feet or something. Yeah. For the, scuba diving. And 30, 30 feet is like maximum of what like yeah. you really should oh, be doing unless do, you're really experienced. Do you want to hear a good one now? So apparently for humans, if you ever end up below 75 foot, you're never getting back out. The pressure is just too much. You, to be so, able to so if a bo- so if a body gets stuck or whatever, yeah. if you go down that far, you can't actually get back up to the surface because the weight of the water is just too much to let you go back up. Does that make any weird sense? Yeah, but so you just get swallowed by the and then again, like it, it kind of. I'm just in. gonna let you know what? if you ever like fall off a boat. I'm not jumping in after you. <laughs> Do you not want to go on? A- yeah, Meg, you were talking about going on a cruise a while back. I said boats are different. I go on a boat. What about Titanic? Did it even happen though? <laughs> what did you mean? Where's the iceberg now? <laughs> yeah, there's still water in the pool. <laughs> but like, if you ever fall, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. Yeah, I don't blame you. Well, first of all, you wouldn't be able to help me anyway. You can't swim. No, we'll just both drown. Yeah, exactly. Like, one so, person like, needs to like, be like, with you know what I mean? Like, one person <laughs> needs, needs to, to be with all the <laughs> But the thing is, you can't swim, so there's no point. Like, you yeah. know, it's, it's like one of those ones, like, what will be the point in you jumping in? I'll anyway? tie the bed sheets together. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can sort me out with that. All right. Like, like, let's keep going. The, you see, this, this, the only thing that I'm getting about this is because the environment is so alien to humans, and it's something that we just don't really, so many people just don't really experience deep sea, it's so hard to translate a thing to a role playing game where your best bet, it's kind of like Lovecraftian. Would that actually come to think of it? Is the deep sea almost got like that fourth dimension vibe? Oh, 1000%. Like it's completely. It's got the fourth, fifth, and sixth like, <laughs> yeah. down there because. I, th- I think you could link in some good, like, Lovecraftian horror. In, and, and again, like, Cthulhu is from the sea, isn't it? Yeah. Well, is it? it well, no one needs to pick, like, any picture I can think of. He's, yeah, he's got his ankles there in the sea. Yeah, I'm going to go with that. You know, and also, like, you know, the whole tentacle face and all that. It, uh, it, like, it adds up to me. By the way, I just want to point out, like, I know people won't be shocked about this because China, but China eat blobby fish or whatever they're called. The fucking <laughs> what, blob fish. What do they not eat, man? Like, come like, on. Like, they eat that. So the thing that gets me about Did China- you ever see the video, the, or not the video, the picture of like the truck that was carrying all the blob fish and it like crashed and they were all over the road and no. the road is just covered in fucking slime? <laughs> it's fucking horrible. It's Almost like Cthulhu gone. just spunked but all what, over the road. But what do they get? So when it comes to like Chinese medicine, they believe the animal that you're, you're going to. Um, 
gain the ability. So, like, Armadillo. What the fuck are you going to gain from a blobfish? I don't know. Super Spunk? I mean, it looks like a big <laughs> spunk monster. It yeah, kind of yeah. does look like a big... Yeah. Like, it looks like a, like, thick lump of jizz. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, it's like, like a big thick. gob of it. Big yeah. Grotty gob. So there you go, guys. If you want to make a horrible monster beyond your comprehension, just make a spunk monster. <laughs> yeah. There yeah. you go. Perfect. I've got an ocean story for you guys. Here's some minor backstory. So I'm good old Florida boy. I've lived near our beaches for most of my life and I love every part of them. That being said, I've learned to respect the ocean over the years thanks to it sending reminders to me that things live in it. Scary thing. I mean, it's Florida. I'm like, <laughs> like come on. About a year, like, think scary things live in Florida, not just the sea. <laughs> the people who live in Florida are alone. <laughs> About a year ago, I was fishing off the coast of Tampa Bay. Great place, excellent for catching huge fish like tarpon. After a long day of fishing without catching anything, I decided to take a break with my family and hit one of the beaches around the coast. At this particular beach, the tide was out really bad, and there was a sandbar about 20 feet off the so- shore where a bunch of people had parked their boat and were dancing in the ankle water, the ankle high water. Me, my mother and my father all decided that we sh- would swim out there because hey, party's a party, right? As I said before, between us and the sandbar bore, bore. was about 15 to 20 feet of deep water. The kind where if you look at it, it's almost black. We swam over there, no problem. My mother and father made it there a couple of seconds before me, and I was slowly making my way to them, when a couple of people who were there kind of stopped and looked at me. At first, I thought it was because I was wearing a dorky-looking life jacket. Mother knows best, even when I'm 22. It's not a bad, like, honest to God. But then I saw the fear on their faces, and that made me nervous. I got to the sandbar and reunited with my parents without thinking too much about what people about people giving me weird looks. A couple came over to us and asked me, "Are you okay with you?" Nothing at all, but everyone here saw a hammerhead swimming right underneath you. Must have been like ten feet. We asked the couple if they could ferry us back to the shore <laughs> of their boat. Yes, please. Yeah, please, please. Absolutely not. So, do you want to tell your story about? And get, yeah, you've actually got at least some good reason to be scared of the water. Yeah, well, so I... So, what were you, were you about the time? Like 12, 13, 14, yeah. thir- 12, 13. Um, I um, was out on the fishing boat. My dad's friend owned a boat and I went out fishing like every summer, like nearly enough every day of the summer. And we were out near the Copeland Islands and I got my wee fishing rod. I was sitting there, I casted it out. I was just waiting and I was like bringing it in and out and in and out. Yeah. Next minute the whole rod started to bend and I was just going, dad, da, 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 da. <laughs> And he came over going, oh, it must have just caught on a rock or something. And he looked, but it was going under the boat and he goes, it must have caught on a sea lion. There was a lot of sea lions around that area. Right. So he went to the other side of the boat to see what it was and I from that side of the boat came a massive basking shark <laughs> and then my rod just snapped uh, and I went uh, <laughs> to be fair basking sharks aren't going to eat you I know but they're still <clears> not going to get in the water they're really it. big and the way they just open their mouth go, <laughs> eternal soy face yeah. <laughs> the soy face of the shark world I'm still not going to get in the water with it. <laughs> like, anyway, yeah. you're talking to the young angler of the year oh, oh there you go 2007 <laughs> <laughs> Lobsters don't die of old age. They die from disease or accident. They also continue growing throughout their entire lives. Theoretically, a lobster could reach any size, provided it didn't die of accident or ocean aids. <laughs> or <laughs> get ebb, for God's sake. I like to think that there's a giant lobster, the first lobster, plotting and scheming in the bottom of a deep ocean trench. Shut up, cat! Cat! Pl- <laughs> cat! Plotting and scheming in the bottom of the deep ocean trench somewhere. And all the lobsters and Gordon Ramsay's spaghetti were scouts <laughs> who weren't quick enough. The only matter of time before they sent out the big gun. Very love Kalaftian. I is. like that. Yeah. That's weird. Oh, you know what gets me is, uh, well, as well? So uh, insects and stuff, it's to do with like our atmosphere. It's mm-hmm. not warm enough. If we had warmer atmosphere, then you could get... Thor, we're... Thor, Thor. We're, we're working, mate. Please. Please, sit down. I please. will pet you in a minute. We'll pet you in a wee second, but please. He's getting bad for that. So he is, he's wild. He's like, getting bad. They're, both of them are getting bad with their old age. Like if they're not fed exactly on time. Or if they're not getting adequate pets. Adequate it's like, petting. oh my God. It's like if you're 10... Five or ten minutes late feeding them, it's like all hell is broken loose and all you hear is like a chorus of oh, crying. Throughout the house. But yeah, what what is Ocean Aids? 
on the topic. Look, I don't want to know. Yeah, honestly, you know the thing is, what gets me as well is like the dust at the bottom of the ocean. Like, see all that like build up of just. You know what it is. It's just bodies, like just, just stuff. Just bodies, and as there was, you said about like the shoes in the Titanic. Remember, I told you what they were. Why? Oh yeah, because they don't decompose or they don't no. get eaten. So the shoes, because they're made out of tanned leather, they don't like dissolve and shit like that. In but like they're just the sitting where like the person died where the person like laid because the pressure of the water plus like whatever's in the water and animals and fish yeah, and whatever just, bacteria like took the bones with like fucking ate the bones out everything has turned to dust but there's like hundreds upon hundreds of shoes just ugh. there on the boat where that person mm. died and there's like in the bed on the Titanic there's a bed in the Titanic that has a, a woman's pair of shoes at the bottom as if she died lying yeah. and right beside her up a little bit is a little girl's pair of oh. shoes, so they must have died cuddling. Oh, for God's sake. Um, so that's where they where oh. they died. You know you know where it's really good, honestly. Well it's not that it's good, but I thought it was a really good display. Um the Ulster Folk and Transport for- Museum. Yes. Um in Northern Ireland they've got this really nice display of the Titanic where they've got all the people that survived are in colour. Like they've got like t- tiny models of them all. Yeah. And then they've got... It's a really uh, big display. It is. It's actually a really good display. You know what? Honestly, Don't forget we built the Titanic. Yeah, the Titanic was built That's here. That's nothing to brag about. <laughs> like, because we uh, and, the Oshi- uh, and, <laughs> and the... And the other ones. Olympia. Olympia, we yeah. Built that uh, one uh, all three of them sunk, did they not? Yeah. The Oceania. Wait, which one was I'm it? I'm going to put that down to the drivers though, at the White Star Line. Yeah. Or the captains, sorry, at the White Star Line. And not the Belfast... <laughs> yeah, but uh, no, honestly, I. You know what? I'm kind of tempted to do like um, a Cthulhu-style ghost ship. Like one of those. Oh, see, the thing is, see ships like in the like late 1800s, really beautiful ships. Yeah. Like you know, they really did put a lot of work into making things beautiful at that point. Like this is just before like. Especially unprofessional, guys. Unprofessional. I'm sorry, guys. Um, just before, like, dreadnoughts and stuff, a lot of these, like, ships, like, a lot of, like, you know, the ships that the British Navy were mm-hmm. using, they're really beautiful mm-hmm. machines. Yeah. Whereas once they really moved to dreadnoughts, they're, when you when they first really start going into dreadnoughts, they turn more and more into what you would think of as, like, a what you think of a modern-day battleship. Yeah. But before that, you've still got the very, <clears throat> sorry, the very, like, Titanic-esque look and feel with the wood and yeah. the glass and you know what I mean there is something very almost steampunky to it yeah you know I know I kind of like it and I do think it's something to play about with the only problem is you know what's mad for me what you know people you know decide they want to go into the military and they pick the navy and say oh let me just like take my chances of dying at sea (laughs) I'd rather bum rush Normandy 100 times over (laughs) than die on a battleship in the middle of the ocean well was it not mostly marines in like D-Day and stuff so like this is the thing so the Americans they use the Marines are like the Navy's army essentially mm. so technically they are in the Navy yeah. even though I'm sure if you ever asked a Marine that they would fucking <laughs> they, they would not take they would not they would not be very happy with you if you ever tell uh, some yeah. of them that well you they're know. literally called Marine yeah no exactly so like, you know come on <laughs> like, Marine means I, ocean yeah exactly you know so amphibious warfare that's another thing honest to god you couldn't pay me enough the idea of is that why they call them frogs no, that's. Uh, Is that why they call them frogs? It could be, yeah. Why? You would ask. To, you'd, also, you'd be better off asking Garbu, but Garbu would just sit and say, yeah. "Ah, well." You, you, no, because asking <laughs> Garbu this question would be asking you like any questions about. No. No, no, it wouldn't be because Garb, when you ask him about the air, air force, he's like, ha, oh, if all they do is sit about all day, ha, ha, they would do nothing, ha, ha. You hear Garb, we talk Garb, has got to think about the air force. <laughs> Something. <Right. laughs> <coughs> but no, so the big problems I've got with the sea is. First of all, most of our technology doesn't work. You couldn't even Which use... Which terrifies me. You can't use most technology. The technology needs to be specifically designed to work in the sea. Like, how long have they been trying to make, like, waterproof phones and they're not? They're not. They're just not there yet. It's just gonna... They, I, they're not. They're just... Unless you buy it, a, spe- a phone meant to be used, like, underwater, you're not getting it. They, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, it's uh, just... It's not as, Well, also, to be fair, how much money do they make from... Like, I, I got my phone on a paint one time, so I did. That did it in. Yeah. Like, how much the money... next morning, it was, like, halfway up. It was just blank. Yeah. Where it was where in the paint. Felt, yeah, it was pretty bad, so it was. <clears throat> Honestly, like, the thing is, the sea may as well be the fourth dimension, I think. Yeah. And I, I, there's stuff you can do with it, but I think it's very hard to translate the level of horror with the sea to role-playing games. 
I think it's, there's a lot of monsters you can put in. Yeah, but it's the it's the 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 fear of you know that picture she's seeing. There's like one person in the water, and the rest of it's surrounded by darkness. Yeah, like underneath. Yeah, like that. That's more terrifying than anything. Be the because you don't know what's around you. Yeah, honestly. Do you know what I mean? Uh, the, the other Where thing. Well, the thing is, if you're in a dark room, mm. you've got the door. You know, you can close the door. Like, yeah, you don't know what's in the room, but you can get out of that door. Yeah, that's true. You can't get out. Yeah, I get. And it. <laughs> there's miles, <and laughs> miles of I, like nothingness. One of the things. <laughs> one of the things that gets me is so I don't like flying. Like flying gives me the heebie-jeebies. <clears throat> and on top of that, most of the time when we fly, we go over some form of big body of water, and that's like the worst bit about it all. You know what I mean? Like the idea of crashing. I don't think is half as bad as like crash on land. Okay, that's that's bad enough. Crash in the sea. Oh my oh god! My please god, make it actually not. stop. Please make me die on impact. Please for the love so of what god. What you're saying is. When will we be going to America? Um, a long Fly time. over the Atlantic. Oh, uh, it's so far. It's so far over yeah, sea. That's a bit that gets so me. Far. It's not as bad as Pacific, at least. It's mm. not as big. Yeah, I've done it before. I went. I went to Florida, and um, it was the flight was grueling. Like, yeah, how long was it? It was like nine hours or something. Uh, that's not too bad. I know. I slept for most of it. Ah, well, that's what. Oh, but the problem is, we got all you know. We can't just sleep through it. Well, I can sleep, and you can sleep. <laughs> What, so just leave Ozzy in the, to look after himself? Basically, at that point, yeah. <laughs> Here, just do whatever other people seem to do. It's like, here, I have a tablet, play some gold, but talk, <laughs> talk to Pete Files on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> So. Right, okay. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you have any ideas to bounce off, I'd love to hear them. And uh, check out Terminal Online, our other channel, because there should be a new video coming very soon. And there's some really big news coming on really that channel. Really big news coming so to that. So check that keep out. Keep up to date with it. And we'll see you next time. Bye.